students holding signs and calling for change in front of Grand Blanc High School. We talked to a ninth grader who claims three black girls were kicked off of the competitive cheerleading team because of their hair. Three girls got kicked off the cheer team because of their hair texture. Three black girls. Um, they couldn't do the same hairstyle as the other um, non-black girls. So they got kicked off the cheer team. Grand Blank School spokesperson Andrea Calvert released the following statement saying, quote, these expectations have been in place for many years and were previously reviewed with all team members. However, it was brought to our attention that some of the requirements for co competition may not be inclusive of some hair types. GBSC is striving to be a safe and inclusive space for all students. Linscombe says change is definitely needed. Calvert responded saying, quote, the competitive cheer expectations are being reviewed by our GBHS athletic department and our athletic director, met directly with the student athletes to hear concerns and clarify any miscommunications. In addition, our diversity, equity, and inclusion director, Sonia James, will be attending practices and meeting with the coaches and student athletes of our cheer program this week to address any barriers and to make sure expectations of the program align with our district's DEI's mission statement, unquote. Other students at the protest say there continues to be an issue of black students being the target of racial slurs by other students during the school day. These barriers that they put for us, the racism, the, the name calling, the everything, it just makes everything so much harder, you know, but it's good to see that people care. It's good to see that humanity still out here. And this isn't the first time these allegations have been made. In September, we reported alleged offensive messages being sent between student athletes. Calvert said, quote, the Grand Blank equity team is committed to improving the lives of all students. More specifically, we believe that to fully embrace and operationalize equity in Grand Blank community schools, all students must have their voices heard in a safe, supportive environment that values difference, unquote. According to this parent and student, they aren't shocked at all. And parents and students I've talked to tonight are actually not happy at all after hearing about a student athlete in Grand Blank sharing what the district is calling inappropriate and offensive messages shared with a diverse group of friends. And they want the school district to do more. It's totally unacceptable. And I expect that the Grand Blake administration needs to deal with this openly and candidly and in real time. Chris Martin, who lives in Flint, put his kids in Grand Blake Community School, saying they offered a great education. Martin's daughter, Lauren, graduated from Grand Blake High School last year and helped form the school's first ever black student union. We realized that we didn't have any representation for us. There were little to no um, black supervisors or black staff members, black teachers. So we decided to make a group for, um, for us by us. The Grand Blank Community School District tells me no one was targeted in these alleged offensive messages and no threats were made. But the district also said even in an effort at humor, it was unacceptable. After her experience at Grand Blank High School, Lauren tells me she wasn't shocked to hear about these messages. Since third grade, I've had multiple incidents concerning races and prejudice and just all sorts of those things. So it did not surprised me that something like this happened. Um, it did disappoint me, however, because it's 2022, okay? We shouldn't, this should not still be a conversation. The Grambling School District released this statement Thursday saying they will address this behavior, stating in a partial quote, as we continue to work with our district's diversity, equity, and inclusion team, we will be extending that work to our student athletes through the athletic department this year. We take the duty to maintain a safe environment for all of our students very seriously, end quote. But Chris isn't confident that will happen. It's not out of the ordinary for the administration at the high school to somewhat ignore this or try to make it go away. I just think that the principal has to do a better job addressing this. Grand Blank, as, as much as it is a great uh, district and, and, and a excellent athletics, great academic, dedicated teachers, you have to address what some students are taught in their homes, which is racism. Grand Blank High School, where you can see students here are gathered here in the parking lot to begin their march to Grand Blank City Hall to protest against police brutality. 
Larry Holiday, an 11th grader at Grand Blank High School, leads more than a couple dozen students on this march demanding justice for Dante Wright. Holiday tells us he felt inspired to organize the protest because he wants to bring awareness to his community. He hopes their efforts send a message that his life, his friends, and his family members' lives matter and they should be protected at all costs. I hope to send to our youth to stand up for what you think is right and make sure that what you believe in is something you really want to achieve. As students walk away from Grand Blank City Hall, they say the fight is far from over and will continue demanding justice.